I'll say this first before I forget. I like Draymond over his 14 and a half rebounds plus assists. And he averages, I think, about 15.4. He's going to get a little extra assist with Steph Curry back in the lineup and all the chemistry he has between him and, um, I mean, the rest of the guys in the lineup. And this is an OKC team who allows the most rebounds per game. So I, just looking at that combined with his averages, I think he gets over the 14 and a half tonight. Other than that, when I look at this game, um, I have to go with the under. It's rising. I'm going against the market here. It was 241. I know I got in at 242, and it's now 242 and a half or 243, but I disagree. Um, this Warriors team has been more of an under team post All Star break, seven straight games, staying under the total. Um, and I know Steph Curry's been out for majority of the time, but even if I just look at, okay, they're 7 and 0 to the under, and just looking at what they combined the last two weeks with um, what they averaged the last two weeks combined with OKC. It's 228.7 points, and we have a total above 240 here. So I'm just thinking, how much is Steph Curry worth to the total? Um, I looked up the averages for Golden State with and without him. Without him, their games average about 228 points. With him, they average 237.1, so about nine points. And I still just think it's a little bit too high here. I looked at non-division games um, about a month and a half, the last month and a half with a total of 240 or more. They are 23-2 and two to the under. This is a time of year where teams are playing a lot better defense. Um, these games matter a lot more to some of these teams. And this Golden State team, they're the number one defensive rated team post-All-Star break. So I like that. The Thunder will likely remember the last time that they played the Warriors. They got blown out. I think it might have been by even 30 points. But I'm looking at the Thunder after um, a 20-point loss versus, this opponent, uh, versus their current opponent. They're 8-0 to the under. That dates back to April. So I think in those situations, they like to you know, try to prove themselves in that second meeting and they try to show up a little bit more defensively. So all of that puts me on under. It's against the market, but that's what I like. And if you don't like that, maybe you'll like Draymond over 14 and a half rebounds plus assists.